Welcome back, everyone. Um, in today's video, we are going to be continuing our scene transition. Um, so let me just show you guys what we had last time. So we have a little player here that can go into from room one. We go into loading screen, and then we go to room two. Awesome. And when we go back, it goes back to the room. However, we start in our original position, which is kind of an issue. So in today's video, we're going to uh, explore a way to fix that using our stage manager. Okay, um, so this is actually very simple and very easy, um, but we're gonna kind of explore how to do that together. So when we change our stage, um, where is it? Here we go. Aside from these things, this is where we essentially create and access the new main. So in that, in here, stage, we now have main two, right? That's the stage we're going to. So we can now access that stage by staying a stage dot whatever. We can say position, we can do something in that stage, right? Or in that node. And in that stage, we have a player, right? And in the next stage, which is main two, we have a player here as well. And we wanna edit that player. So all we have to do is say get node, player. Um, dot position position equals um, vector two and we're going to do 100 and 100 for now and so now we have changed the position to 100 and 100 for both rooms so when i go here into room two it should spawn me somewhere like around here maybe yep right there so it'll spawn me at 100 100 now that's not what exactly what we want to do but that's close right so we've now edited the position so a better way to, or not a better way, but a way to change the position dependent on what room I want to go to is we can pass through two values, an X and a Y. The X is just gonna be the X, and the Y is just gonna be the Y that we want the player to be, right? So um, you can also actually just do vector to X, Y, I think, but I'm just gonna do X and Y. Um, either, one, either way should work, so let's close that. Um, in our original main, we're going to go into door two, and we now have to change this. So we have to pass through two different uh, positions. Um, and let me just find... Okay, the positions I used are 64 and 200. Um, the way to check this is in the second room that you're going to, you're going to have to find out the position that the player is at, so or where you want it to be. So if you scroll in really close, you can see it. So um, here and here, I guess, or you can just look at the position here. So I guess, ooh, yeah, no, I guess I have to change it actually. Okay, let's do um, 182, 184, and 344. Uh, so here, 184, and 344. And then from main two to main, we want to spawn right next to the door, right? So in here and the door, let's uh, take our player, or actually, let's just zoom in here. We're going to get a spawn at this point. So 360 and 3, uh, uh, 980, we'll say. So 360 and 980, I believe, right? Let me double check. Yeah, around 360 and whatever 80. Okay, so let's try that. So now we should be able to go from one screen to the other by changing the position. So that's our starting position. Um, let's actually make it so that it starts over here. And let's keep going. Um, go to room two and ooh, all right, uh, in stage manager, I have to set it to X 100 or X and Y not 100 and 100. Let's try that again. So we start over here in room one and we go to room two and it should spawn us right next to the door. Awesome. And we go again and it should spawn us right next to the door or not what happened there. It must have spawned us a little lower than expected. If we look here, it should. Nah, I don't know. Um, let me see. Let me double check. Okay, let's uh, go to main two and see where I spawned it. 360. Okay, let's um let's actually take this. A perfect way to, to set this is by just moving the player. Now I can copy it. Oh, I reversed it. Whoops, that's why. So this is 390 and this will be 360. Okay, last try. <laughs> My bad. Whoops. Yeah, we'll try right there. And then go back to room one. 
And there we go, it spawned right next to the door. Awesome. So, um, ooh, actually, let's just double check this works by moving the player back again. Okay, last attempt, last attempt. That was like four attempts, but this is the last one. So we go from room one to room two, we spawn next to the door because we set the position. And then we set the position for this room as well. So we spawn right next to the door. So that's how you go between two scenes and set the position of the player. There are different ways of doing this, but this is my favorite way of doing it. Um, mainly because you're basically sending a signal, not a, you're not actually sending a signal, but it's kind of like a, you're sending a variable to the next scene, um, telling it where the play, you want the player to be. And for your game, if you don't want to, if you want to avoid errors, um, Another way you can do this is you can do this. You can, um, if you have a player, um, I don't have a player here, but if you have your own player, you can say player equals preload um, dot 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 player, whatever, right? So you preload your player. And then you can create your player. So by doing the same thing, so player equals whatever player, right? So instantiate it. And then you can add the player to that next scene. So that way you don't have a player in every, in every, uh, um, game or uh, scene right so that's one way to do it another way to double check you don't kind of error is you can check if stage dot has a nude player then we'll do this and i think this hopefully this is still a function I don't know no i think it's has child actually Ooh, i don't think it, there is has node okay never mind we're not going to do that um is it? Let's try. Let's see what happens. I don't think has node is a thing anymore, or ever was. I think I, mean, I think I might be thinking of has child. Okay, let's try going back. Oh, okay. I guess it does work. Okay. It's. I'm just playing around at this point. Okay, so it does work. Okay, so this is actually, a, I guess it does. So you can use this to, to double check you don't error, because if there is no player in your next scene, then it'll error, right? So it won't, it'll, it might crash, it might do something weird. Um, but yeah, this is a good way to move your player. Keep in mind, you can do many other things with this. You can, you can change a lot of other things in your next stage. If there's a door you want to change, if there's anything in that next stage that you want to change, you can do that. In fact, we can do... Um, stage dot get node label dot name no text equals room one or uh, 1000 i don't know okay so now the next one will say room 1000 yeah so you can you can do anything with this right so this is a pretty powerful idea that you should keep in mind when creating your games. Um, hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully um, this was very useful to you guys. Um, if you guys wanna see more stuff like this, subscribe, um, follow me. Uh, I have a Discord. I definitely recommend you join my Discord. I have, I'm trying to grow the community, try to help out people who um, join and stuff like that. I also stream a little bit on the side um, every now and then. I will try to stream more as a community grows bigger, um, just because I don't wanna be streaming to no one. Um, I also have a Patreon. Um, you can go pledge to that if you'd like, but you, uh, you don't have to. What else do I have? I think that's it. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next time, but like and subscribe to the video. Peace out.